Hi everyone, coming to you with my haul from Swap Meet this morning. It's Mother's Day here in Perth and I left my kids and hubby behind and headed to Swap Meet very, very early while it was still dark this morning, hoping to find some goodies. And while there wasn't much jewellery at all, I did pick up a few other bits and pieces that I thought I'll come on to show you. So the first piece, which I'll start with because I have to stand further back, is this lovely um, oil on canvas painting. It's beautiful, really lovely quality. It's like a cubist painting. I can't show you the back, but I'll actually take photos of the back and put it on my on Instagram and my Facebook so you can see. It's a, definitely an old one. It's sadly not signed, but it's a really, really beautiful piece. And I paid $10 for that. And she was just getting it out of her car as I arrived. And I said, how much for the painting? And she said $10. So that was my bargain for the day. Then I'll come over here. I bought some really different things today. Because there was no jewelry, I kind of my eye was going to other things this here I don't know what it is I've purchased it actually for my husband because I buy him things that are really different the lady said that it was an antique buoy for a ship uh, but it is very 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 heavy so I wouldn't think that it would float so I'd say it's a weight of some kind but I'm not even going to try and pick it up and show it to you it's very 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 heavy and it's got these two round glass discs and I purchased that from her for $20. She said that she bought it from an antique store 20 or 30 years ago for around 150 So I thought for $20, I would grab that and I'm going to do some research on it. If anyone knows what it is, please let me know. Then there was a gentleman that I purchased this bunch of items from here. Oh, these ones here, sorry. The other two I bought from another lady. I'll show you those quickly. They're just two little brass candlesticks. I got some brass last week too, and they were $5 for the pair of brass candlesticks. Then these pieces I got from another gentleman. I These I think were all a dollar. There's this little vintage brass ornament. There are these two little Chinese, might even be Japanese, little figurines. There's that one and there's this one, the little dragon. They were a dollar each. I got this one, which is quite interesting, little statue. I've got him again. I go for things with condition is big for me. So this was in perfect condition. It's marked China on the bottom. But it's got some really lovely glaze on the back. And he was $2. I got this set of little brass pots for a dollar. And then this piece here too for a dollar. It's brass and it's got the little symbols of the different years. So I grabbed that. Make my way down the front here. I got I put these two bits in the picture because I um, I grabbed them actually initially for my kids. I grabbed this Pokemon Pearl. It was brand new in the case. It's just a DS case I grabbed for my son. I opened it up when I got home. My elder son told me off because he said it's actually a collectible one. And I looked up on eBay and they go for $20 plus. But um, I paid $2 for that. And you in the packet. I got that for my youngest son. And I actually bought these for my oldest son. These are brand new in the packet. Dual Masters trading cards from the same guy. They were $2. But he didn't want them. They're not ones that he plays. So I looked them up on eBay. And they go for about 60 bucks. So thanks, son, for not wanting your gift. Now I can sell them. <laughs> so, and that $60 will probably pay for everything else that I um, that I bought today. So, yeah, the intention was to give those to my son. But he didn't want them. Uh, I'll show you the little bit of jewellery that I got. There was this lovely little, sorry, I've got paint on my fingers from my Mother's Day present this morning. Little modernist sterling silver pendant with um, a little sapphire and it's on a sterling silver chain. That was $5. I really liked the look of that. I got this little pair of earrings that were actually thrown in with a, another bunch of stuff that I bought. And I got this little brooch for $2.00. Just a little modern one. And I got this little brooch for $2. So that one is signed. I didn't have a good look at the signature of who it was. Actually, I can't, can't even see it. It's very fuzzy. So that was $2. And, yeah, that was all of the jewellery that I got this morning. So not much at all. And then the last pieces I got were over here were from one family. And... Uh, again, it was quite early when I went to this store and I did like a bundle lot with them. I got this Jack Daniels new in the case um, set, which has the two glasses and then the little little flask and the funnel. And that 
uh, originally it was five dollars but then I'll tell you what I paid for the whole lot I got these dusk artisan evening rose candles and these retail for about 60 or 70 bucks it's crazy what dusk charges for things but I got those for two dollars then there was this pair of cufflinks which I'll come and show you in a sec they were actually sealed and we couldn't get the box open because the little tab wasn't sticking out and he said mystery cufflinks two dollars and I grabbed those and I'll tell you about those in a minute and I got these two um silver plate um the sign what's the name say oh I got it upside down no I didn't oh is it gonna strachen and they're actually trivets I think for the table and the silver plate so I grabbed those. They were all in the bundle together here. And then the last piece that I got from that this family was, hang on, I'm going to be able to open it in one hand, maybe not, was this Christian Dior makeup kit. It's a bit dusty, but it's actually new and not been used. And it's got a second drawer that pulls out. And that I got thrown in at the end for a dollar. The guy did make a comment that his mum and his sister were too wealthy and that they spend crazy money on things and then they never use it, which is why those dust candles were sealed and that Jack Daniels thing was sealed and this makeup. And I looked at this online and this retails for $300 and I was a bit shocked about that. So I actually got it for me. But, um, yeah, for that kind of price, I feel like, God, maybe I should sell it. But we'll see um, how we go. It's actually got a second drawer that pulls out that's got some brushes and eyeliners and things and there's actually a little perfume in the kit too. But these here were the interesting score of the morning because when we got home, we were able to open it. And from looking at the design, does anybody know before I tell you what these are? Anyone? And when I flipped them over and looked underneath, they say, you see that? Cartier Paris. Now, they're not marked silver or gold. And we found similar ones online, but they're still in silver. So we are still trying to figure out if these are real or if these are reproduction. Now, because of the family that they came from and because of the other higher end pieces I found with that family, I would say that they are real. Um, we're, yeah, like I said, we're still doing some research. So if anyone knows, I just showed you the stamp. Let me know and we're going to continue to do research and I will update and let you know what I find out about them. So, yeah, they were quite interesting when we popped the case open when we got home and saw they said Cartier. I was like, yee. So what do you think of my haul from this morning? It's a bit of a mixed bag, but um, because it wasn't much jewellery, I sort of picked up a few different interesting things. So let me know what you think. And I will, again, update on social media anything else I find out about them. And I'll be popping a few pictures up on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Follow me. Um, on social media and please like subscribe and share with anyone else that you think might be interested and I shall see you again next week bye